Welcome to a Healthy RV Living. And today I am excited to share with you my short ribs braised in the oven recipe that's so easy to make and it comes out super flavorful and tender and so comforting and delicious. Short ribs can be a little bit intimidating to make if you've never cooked them before. So I'm really, really happy to show you how easy it can be even in your RV. I served mine with some really good mashed potatoes and some green beans and some sauteed mushrooms, but it's pretty versatile on how you share it. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is get all of your ingredients ready. And it really doesn't require too many ingredients. A lot of them are very simple things that you probably already have around. Now the star of the show is of course your short ribs and I used about three pounds. I did pat them dry first using a clean paper towel and then I really well seasoned them with salt and pepper. Now you wanna make sure that you flip these bad boys around and get every edge seasoned, both sides, all four sides, however many sides are exposed, including the bone side. Next, after you get those ready, you wanna get the rest of your vegetables prepped so that when it's go time, you don't have any delays. So start with one white onion. I cut it in half, take the paper off, and then I do some slices and get it into a nice fine dice. And for the onions, I used one onion, about 330 grams. For carrots, you can use any carrots that you like if they're plain orange. I really like these colorful carrots. I just like adding the color to my diet and I feel like the more color, the better. So the same thing with the carrots, you wanna get them into a nice fine dice. This is about 240 grams of carrots. Moving on to the celery, you're gonna do this the same way where you get them nice and small dice. And for the celery, I did about 150 grams. You don't need to be exact on all these ingredients, which is why I really like this recipe. Next, garlic. I'm a huge garlic lover. And you know, that's a really personal thing. Throw in one clove, throw in five cloves. I went for five cloves and I did 23 grams. You can crush it, you can mince it, you can slice it, just make sure it's nice and fine. Then let's move over to the cooking area. I am going to use my Dutch oven. I believe this is a six quart and I'm also gonna use my induction cooktop to get everything started. And then I'll be moving everything into the oven. So preheat the oven at 350 and then preheat your Dutch oven to high sear because what we wanna do is get this nice and ripping hot then you want to pour in a good drizzle of olive oil and get your short ribs in there to brown. Lay them down on their first side. Don't touch them for a good, you know, four minutes. Flip them over and you want to get a nice brown sear on every edge. Then get a nice plate to transfer them to with a little bit of a lip on it. I like to use this glass pie plate. It works really well for holding any juices and the amount of meat that I'm putting in there. So transfer all that browned seared meat into this pie plate or whatever plate you're using and keep all of that residual oil in your Dutch oven because we're gonna throw those onions in. Let those onions cook for about three minutes to give them a head start. You wanna make sure you're stirring it occasionally too. After that is done, then you'll add in the celery and the carrots and you'll stir all that up. Let this cook for an additional three minutes stirring occasionally. Then you'll add in your tomato paste. I use about 30 grams. Throw in your garlic at this point. I like to do a seasoning of salt and pepper for all those vegetables in there. Seasoning every layer as we go. Give it a good mix. Let these things cook for another few minutes. You're gonna start to smell the tomatoes. You're gonna start to smell the garlic. Get everything grooving. Now we're gonna get juicy and we're gonna put our red wine in. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's left over from last night and you're gonna put in a couple cups worth. This is about 300 milliliters. Bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat down and let this red wine simmer away and reduce. The alcohol is gonna cook out and you're gonna get it nice and thick. After that, I'm gonna add in my broth 
And for the broth, I like to use Better Than Bouillon in the jar with my water because it's RV friendly and doesn't weigh a lot. So I'm gonna add in 32 ounces of water and then I'm gonna add in the Better Than Bouillon base as instructed, which is about four teaspoons, in this case, 24 grams. And I really, really like this mushroom and vegetable flavor. I like it because it goes with every meat, whether I'm cooking beef or pork or chicken, it has a really nice depth of flavor. So add that in there and then give it a good little mix. Also at this point, I like to bring out my little whiz stick, my immersion blender, and I like to get everything nice and blended smooth. Now you could leave this without blending and just leave it chunky and rustic. That would be a really good thing too but we like it a little bit smooth in our house on this gravy because we're gonna be serving it on mashed potatoes. We're just gonna whiz it all together. Then I'm gonna throw in my bouquet of herbs. I have rosemary, thyme, and bay leaves. Now you wanna get those short ribs back in the tub. Make sure that they're all fully covered. It's okay if there's a couple pieces sticking out, but you wanna have enough liquid in there to braise. Make sure you dump in any of those juices that might've come out, put the lid on it, put it in the oven, set your timer. I like to check on it in two hours. Maybe give the meat a little flip if you do find some ends picking out. And then total, I cook this for about three, three and a half hours until it's nice and tender. You pull it out. It smells amazing throughout the day. Also, while this is cooking, I like to whip up some easy mashed potatoes. You can use golden or baby reds, just boil them up, season them with some salt and pepper, put in some butter and some heavy cream and just mash it up nice and smooth. It is the perfect vehicle to put these short ribs on for serving. Now pour yourself a glass of wine because it's almost ready. We are gonna serve it all together. And on our plates, I'm using green beans with the help of my air fryer. I'm gonna do some sauteed shiitake mushrooms on my skillet with the mashed potatoes. You put it all together. You put those short ribs right on top, smother a little bit of extra gravy on it, and you are good to go. This is one of my favorite meals to make. Nothing screams a special meal in than smelling this delicious aroma for several hours as you sit there in anticipation. And then when it's dinner time, it's ready to go. It's so delicious and it's so easy. Get out there and cook your own food and enjoy that RV kitchen of yours.